Last month I did a squishy unboxing of squishies sent to me from Mariah Elizabeth. It was so crazy nice of her to send me some of her squishies. I've been looking for mini squishies everywhere. One time I wasted a bunch of quarters at a Walmart gumball machine that promised to contain mini squishies. I ended up getting scammed out of like four bucks and didn't even have any mini squishies to show for it. Thanks to Mariah, I'll never have to go through the Walmart gumball swindle ever again. I have a whole horde of mini squishies now. I won't be painting all of them today, but I will be painting quite a few. There's gonna be lots of cuts and additions. Lots of accessories added to the squishies this time. It's probably the most untame and unhinged squishy makeover I've ever done. So, yeah. So we've got this ghost. This isn't one of the ones from Mariah. This squishy is from the mini squishy bundle she recommended off Amazon. So it's brand new. Ah! Even if it doesn't look like it. <laughs> he's clearly been through some stuff. And now he's going through some more stuff. Gotta sand him down, of course. Or else the paint won't stick. <laughs> he's a keychain. Was a keychain. I had to pull out the little, what do you call it? It's not part of my plans. Another thing that isn't part of my plans is his raindrop physique. So I did a bit of trimming up top. I tried making things as smooth as possible. Little tiny cuts. Tiny little cuts. Smooth. Silky smooth. You might be slightly disappointed. One of the accessories he'll be accessorizing with is a hat. I tried on the hat, but things weren't looking proportional. It was making his forehead look like a five head, so clearly some more trimming is needed. Little, little tiny, tiny cuts. cuts. Tiny, tiny little, little cuts. cuts. That'll do. I'm cutting up the bottom of the hat a bit just to help things adhere to each other. Taking some puffy paint, I'm just gonna seal that on. Okay, let's talk about my idea for this. So I don't usually make many monsters. I stick to more like witches or ogres or whatever. I don't really consider most of the things I make to be monsters. I think calling something a monster is kind of like cheating in a way. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's a monster. But with this being the dark side and all, I figured I'd make some monsters today. So this squishy is going to be a burger monster. His hat is supposed to be like a burger bun. I think it kind of looks like one because of the lines on it. Or at least it'll look like one once I'm done with it. Oh, and I do want to add one more accessory. A chocolate chip cookie. <gasps> Just kidding. I'm just using it for parts. I need a circle, but I don't have a circle. So here's me trying to make one by cutting up a perfectly good cookie into a million, million little pieces. pieces. That's not bad. I glued it on. It was sitting a little to the left. I tried pushing it over more to the center. I was hoping the glue wasn't completely dry yet, so maybe I could just rearrange things a bit. But that didn't work, so I ripped it off and tried again. Second time's a charm. This time around, things were looking better. So since he's gonna be a burger monster, I thought red would be a good, bold color choice for him. It's meant to be kind of like ketchup in a way. I thought it would tie everything together. He has some indentation on his face. It makes him look kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog, which is not what I'm trying to go for at all. So that's another reason I went with red for him. I thought if I made him blue or anything remotely close to blue, he would look way too much like Sonic. So like I said, my burger monster is wearing a burger bun on his head. I don't know if anyone noticed, but it does have like a huge mm -hmm. gaping hole in it, which I still haven't fixed, but I'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. I promise. But for now, I'm adding some sesame seeds to the bun. That's what these white polka dots are. I think that's obvious. So the burger monster is carrying around a shield. It's going to be a pickle shield, except it's not actually a shield at all. It's just a huge pickle. He uses it kind of like a frisbee. Basically, he just goes around tossing pickles into people's burgers that don't want any pickles. Reaching new heights of evil today. Speaking of evil, I've got disgustingly beautiful new limited edition merch for you guys. She's one of my personal favorites, the Tutu Witch. I guess it's kind of like a Valentine's Day shirt. I try to make things that can be worn on any occasion. This is my test sample, so the colors came out a little dark on here. But I went back and fixed that, so hopefully now everything is nice and bright. Anyone who orders a shirt gets three wishes from the Tutu Witch herself. Anything you want, sweet. In order to cash in your wishes, remember, you have to fart three times while spinning around in a circle. Your farts must be at a perpendicular angle and at least three seconds in length each. May the odds be ever in your favor. All right, what's next? What's next? Should I go straight in with a bottle of green slick paint? No, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. 
I left some white space under his eye mask for his mouth or jowls or whatever. I'm not entirely sure if he had a mouth before or if his mouth was on top of his nose. Or if it's sort of like a two-in-one beak sort of situation. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be giving him a separate mouth. There you go, buddy. It's wobbly. I meant for it to look like his tummy was rumbling. His wonky smile already gives him enough personality, so I left the rest of his features pretty plain. But I did add an eyelid. It's kind of my thing. Aw, he looks too cute. I decided to tone things down with a bushy unibrow. With all his luscious hair on his unibrow, I decided he should have some hair on his head too. So I added that in. It's green hair. Meant to be kind of like lettuce, since, you know... He's the burger monster and all. I originally intended on giving him a furry belly. However, I ended up opting to give him a bib instead. A little more decent, I think. I did sprinkle in some blood splatters everywhere. It's not ketchup, it's blood. I didn't know if the pickle was looking pickly enough, so I did make some changes. I don't know if that made things better or worse, but that doesn't matter. I like him. Definitely top-notch monster material. All right, for my next squishy makeover, I picked out these three. It's a ghosty looking thing that Mariah sent me, and a unicorn head, also from Mariah. And a soda can from the squishy bundle she recommended off Amazon. I discarded the keychain things. I won't be needing those. You might notice I only picked the keychain thing out of the unicorn head and the soda bottle. I did not pull it out of the ghost's head, and that's because I have some plans. Patience. We're gonna smush you guys all together. Friends forever. I sanded everything down and now I'm gonna give it a nice white base coat. I'm painting them individually and then I'll attach them all to each other afterwards. I thought it might be easier to do things this way. They're mini, teeny tiny squishies, so they didn't take as long to paint as they normally would, so that's nice. I attached the unicorn head to the soda bottle. It's gonna be a little pony, my little pony. <laughs> I sealed those on and filled up that hole. I know what you're thinking. Unicorns aren't evil. Okay, true. The monster riding the pony is where the creepy part of Creepy Cute comes in. They're in a cup because the pony lacks stability right now. If she fell over, it would ruin all the work I just did. And I'd just rather not. So I have these little body parts that I've previously amputated off of other squishies. I had four of these little nubs. One of them went missing somewhere along the way. Now I'm only left with three. I was gonna use them as legs for my pony, but I guess that idea is off the table. Anyways, please welcome the massacred unicorn that I disfigured in my last squishy makeover. I confiscated her face and also apparently her butt? <laughs> did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh, that's fine. I'm still not through with her though. Today I've decided to walk off with her legs. I've used this unicorn squishy for so many parts, so I actually went back to the dollar store that I got it from in hopes to snatch some more unicorns up. I don't know if they sold out, I didn't find any more unicorns, but I did find Wilfred at the dollar store, so that's something. I'm going to use these as my unicorn pony's new legs. This is the least tame squishy makeover I've ever done. So MJ Pete, I hope you're watching, and I hope you like it. I had another random squishy part laying around. I've been collecting. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but now it's the pony's butt hair. I wanted the pony to look like a toy horse. It's not supposed to be the star of the show. I'm saving the limelight for this monster. My original idea for this little monster was to turn it into the headless horseman. I figured this little nub on his head would make the perfect little pumpkin stem. But now I'm getting rid of that nub because I've changed my mind. I'm still going to be making a monster. Moreover, it's gonna be the most unhinged monster I could think of. My arch nemesis, the screaming toddler with space bugs. I've mentioned her quite a few times on my channel, but I've never actually drawn her or painted her or anything, so this is a first. I had a bow from some previous squishy, so I cut that up to give her arms. Kinda sad because the bow was actually in pretty good condition, but what am I gonna use that for? This isn't gonna be a realistic version of her at all. I'm embellishing a little bit. No. When I mention the screaming toddler with space buns, some people don't think she's real, or they think I'm hyperbolizing, making her seem more than she is. Take my word for it. I'm not. Uh-uh. If anything, she's ten times more than what I make her sound like. Is it so hard to believe that there's a screaming toddler with space buns out here making my life miserable? You guys must not live around many toddlers. Lucky you. There's actually someone even more terrible than the screaming toddler with space buns in my building. They live right above me. I refer to them as the Build-A-Bears. <laughs> They're even louder. I don't even know how that's possible, but yeah. I won't get into that today. One monster at a time. Like I mentioned earlier, this isn't exactly how she looks. It's more so how she makes me feel. She's like a mega demon with space buns. 
In fact, she's looking too disturbing. So I balanced things out a bit by adding a tiny little tongue to the pony she's weighing down. There. Cute cute. So there she is, my arch nemesis, the screaming toddler with space buns. Now you guys can finally put a face to the screams. Everybody please just shut up and click on the top right or 